Have you ever wondered how ancient strategies continue to influence modern warfare and business tactics? What secrets lie within the pages of a military treatise written over two millennia ago? How did a general from ancient China devise principles that transcend time, resonating with leaders and strategists across centuries? What makes Sun Tzu's The Art of War a manual not just for battle, but for navigating challenges in various aspects of life? Meet Sun Tzu, an ancient Chinese general, strategist, and philosopher whose wisdom has transcended the ages. His treatise, The Art of War, remains one of the most influential works on strategy ever written. Little is known about the life of Sun Tzu, shrouded in the mists of ancient history, yet his legacy endures through his profound insights into human nature and warfare. Sun Tzu's era, the tumultuous period of the warring states in China, was a time of constant conflict and political upheaval setting the perfect stage for the birth of his strategic masterwork. Sun Tzu asserted that the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting, emphasizing strategy over direct conflict and valuing the art of deception and psychology in warfare. Know the enemy and know yourself. In a hundred battles, you will never be defeated. Sun Tzu taught that understanding both your capabilities and your adversaries is crucial to victory. Sun Tzu famously stated, All warfare is based on deception. He argued the importance of misleading the enemy to ensure unpredictability and strategic advantage. Winning battles without fighting was Sun Tzu's ideal. He advocated for winning through strategy, diplomacy, and cunning rather than brute force. Adapting to changing circumstances was central in Sun Tzu's philosophy. He believed that being rigid in tactics was a path to defeat. Effective leadership and strict discipline, Sun Tzu posited, were key to maintaining an advantage. A leader's qualities could determine the outcome of a conflict. Gathering intelligence and espionage play a significant role in the art of war. Sun Tzu emphasized the importance of spies in gaining the upper hand. Understanding the terrain and environment was crucial for Sun Tzu. He taught that the natural world could be an ally or an enemy in warfare. Sun Tzu believed in the moral influence of leaders on their people. Ethical conduct and moral fortitude were seen as essential to maintaining an army's spirit. Sun Tzu cautioned against prolonged warfare, warning of the economic drain. He advocated for swift and decisive victories. Utilizing the element of surprise was a tactic Sun Tzu frequently endorsed. Striking where and when least expected was a key to undermining the enemy. Sun Tzu emphasized capitalizing on strengths while recognizing and guarding against weaknesses, both in oneself and in the enemy. Making rapid decisions in the face of uncertainty was a skill Sun Tzu valued highly. He believed quick, confident decision-making could turn the tide of battle. Strategically positioning forces was essential for Sun Tzu. He taught that positioning could influence the course of a conflict more than the actual fighting. Sun Tzu delved into the psychology of war, understanding that fear, morale, and confidence were as impactful as physical weapons. Spies for Sun Tzu were a fundamental part of warfare. He detailed the use of different types of spies and their importance in gaining strategic information. Sun Tzu's insights have shaped modern strategies in tangible ways. His philosophies are mirrored in the business strategies of corporations like Apple and Toyota, influence the coaching tactics of NFL teams, and are studied in military academies worldwide.